<laughs> Another funny one. It doesn't stop. <laughs> so uh, some of you, particular Scott, but some of you were super excited about Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis brought kind of a conservative attitude, a free market attitude, a, a, a attack the woke attitude to being uh, to running for president. And he was going to be the savior of the Republican Party and, of course, the savior of uh, the, the, the country. The country, he was going to be a great president. But, you know, every day that passes, he seems to disqualify himself more from uh, being president. Um, in spite of the fact that he is not 80 years old, the guy is, has lost it. And, and basically, with this latest move, disqualified himself from being president. Um, <laughs> Ron DeSantis supports HB 435, that's the House uh, version in, uh, in, in Florida, and SB 586, which is the Senate version. Uh, both these bills, uh, I mean, it's the same bill, basically, would ban the production. <laughs> I mean, again, I can't, it's, it's just so hysterical. It would ban the production of cultivated meat. And any restaurant or store that sells it would risk having its license suspended. That is, um, Governor DeSantis has decided that in the state of Florida, no more fake meat. You, you can't grow meat, you know, to hell with genetic engineering, to hell with biotech, to hell with biology, to hell with, I don't know, GMO meat, whatever. You cannot grow meat. Not acceptable. No more lab meat. It's gone, right? So uh, any restaurant and store that sells it, God forbid, right, to a willing customer will lose its license. Uh, Republicans in Florida uh, it claim it, it, there's not enough research has been done to ensure the product's safety. So they know Republicans in Florida are experts in uh, product safety. They are expert particularly in meat, expert particularly in meat. Uh, and, uh, and they think it's the government's job to stand between a consumer and a producer and tell them what they can and cannot eat, even though the FDA and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, our regulatory agencies from above, have approved the sale of cultivated meat from two companies, Good Meat and Upside Food Foods, um, the state of Florida is not having any of it. And the reason is, it's not about safety. It's not about safety, right? Uh, uh, we'll, we'll get to why in a second. So this is DeSantis. Um, I know the legislation is doing a bill to try to protect our meat. <laughs> you need meat, okay? You're going to have meat in Florida. We're not going to do that fake meat. Like, that doesn't work. Even if you as a consumer, as an individual consumer, would like it, Florida is not going to allow it. Not going to allow it. Uh, and, and Scott, of course, trusts state regulators much more than he trusts federal regulators. So he's on board with this statist intervention in our lives. Um, uh, the reason is, of course, that, uh, you know, farmers don't want, don't want this. And, and, and the reason uh, uh, DeSantis is partially using is, look, this whole thing about fake meat is all a, a ploy by the left uh, to reduce greenhouse gases and uh, eliminate cows, and we like cows, and uh, we we don't we we're not going to buy into anything that has to do with uh, with the environmental climate change stuff. So uh, so he is anti woke, anti left, and therefore he's pro meat, and he's anti you making a choice about the kind of meat you get to consume. It is now the state of Florida that determines what meat is appropriate for consumption by individuals. It's bad enough that we have to rely on an FDA and whatever. Now we've got a second layer of state regulators that are going to ban stuff that the FDA has approved. God. I, I mean, are these people electable? No, DeSantis is not electable. He's a little fascist, just like the next person I'm going to talk about. And the next person is Elizabeth Warren. DeSantis, Elizabeth Warren, perfect transition. This is Elizabeth Warren on Twitter. Fewer Doritos in your bag, fewer Oreos in your box. 
Less toilet paper on your roll. You aren't imagining it. Big corporations really are making you pay the same amount, sometimes more, for less. It's called shrinkflation. And we've got to crack down on it. <laughs> so now they can have a bill that says, once you have X number of Oreos in a box, you will always have X Oreos in a box. X Oreos in a box, right? So, uh, uh, you know, when both sides uh, do nutty things, both sides on the Iran Brooks show get called out. They get called out because they're all frigging fanatics out there. They're all statists. They all want to intervene in your life. They all want to regulate your existence. They all want to regulate what you buy and how you buy it and what a price you buy it and what quantity you get in the box. Of course, if the food companies actually did the opposite, they kept the same number of Doritos and Oreos in the box, but increase the price to reflect inflation, then Elizabeth Warren would be freaking out because inflation is caused by the profit motive. And uh, the Biden administration would look bad. This is actually, this fewer stuff in the box in order to keep the price stable actually helps the Biden administration because the Biden administration uh, doesn't want inflation. And this reduces appeared perceived inflation. But she wants to have a, uh, a, a crackdown on shrinkflation. There's a good one, shrinkflation. You, you didn't know that existed. But then President Biden figured he'd outdo um, uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> God, I told you this was a funny show. It's hysterical. He says in Twitter, you ought to be able to fly with your child and sit next to them without paying an additional fee. It's time all airlines offered free, fee-free family seating. Fee-free, you say that fast. Fee-free family seating. Now, what would happen if they offered that? It would mean that all of us, all the rest of us on the plane, would be subsidizing this kid. So basically, we're, we're, we're you know, I think conservatives are actually going to like this because they want more kids. And if we could reduce the cost of flying for kids, maybe more parents would have more kids because it would reduce the cost of having kids. And Republicans are really into that. So maybe they'd support this bill. And uh, to hell with it, all us who are not flying with our kids would subsidize the people flying with their kids. I, you know, I think, I think we should do the opposite. I think we should penalize them for flying with their kids because their kids are so often obnoxious on the airplanes and, and they make flying, you know, much less enjoyable. Anyway, President Biden wants to regulate how much the airlines charge for who, where, on what seat. All right, finally, here's one where the Democrats are right and the Republicans are wrong. Go figure, right? Uh, and, and, and this was bizarre, right? So, so this is a bill. It's local. It's in Minnesota. And what the Minnesota, what the Democrats in Minnesota want to do is they want to actually eliminate a regulation that restricts builders uh, to make sure that their X number of parking lots, parking spaces for any unit that is built when they build condo buildings. So, you know, it's, it's these parking requirements that exist all over the country. And, and what the contractors are saying is these parking requirements are arbitrary, they're crazy, uh, they, 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 uh, uh, you know, they, they, they often require you to create a massive amount of parking when people are using cars less and less because they're using Uber more. Uh, why not let, here's a, here's, here's a, a concept that, that maybe everybody should learn from, why not let builders and consumers, developers and consumers figure out how much parking consumers actually want and developers will build that uh, into it. Um, you know, these requirements uh, actually uh, decide these requirements, how much separation between one, one parking spot and the other there has to be. And, and all of this dictated from above by government. It's all, the, the, all these parking regulations dictated from a gov by government. Anyway, the Democrats in the state of Minnesota, and God forbid, but it's true, Representative Ilhan Omar 
I mean, so some of the worst Democrats are sponsoring this bill to deregulate a little bit of building in Minnesota to reduce the cost of building, which is great. Who opposes this? Republicans are going apoplectic. No, no, no. We can't support anything promoted by the left. If this is a leftist bill, basically I've seen tweets like this. If this is a leftist bill, we're against it. We don't want it. We're done. The one thing Democrats and Republicans share 100 percent, no qualms, is a, a, a complete dedication to statism. The state must run our lives. The state should be all powerful. It, they, just, they just differ uh, uh, on the details, on the details. But this is, this is just today pulled off of from some of the news stories, four stories, two of the Democrats are bad, two of the Republicans are bad. Right there.